Well, here it is. Finally got my metal in. It's not, it's just sitting there right now. Like nothing's together. It's just in, sitting there. So that's where it's going to be. I believe that will hold 13, eh, 1,000 pounds of batteries. I'll probably put some kind of, some kind of gusseting in here on the, at least the back side so nothing is in the way. I want it in nice and tight because I'm going to build a vent or a box around it all. And it's, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Get this freaking four wheeler out of here. I got those batteries out of there. Put them out there. I can do some welding. Now, I'll show you what the finished product's gonna be. So, I just wanted to show you this. Before I just showed you the picture there, it was uh, just laid out by hand. So now I actually measured it. Now to get this, I measured an inch back. Measured an inch back, which gives me a little bit of extra room. Doesn't matter about an inch of overhang. And then I did the same on the other side. And then to get the distance between the whole thing's 96. So these are two inch square tubes, HSS, whatever. I measured from the inside here, which is a start point, to the inside there, which is an end point, which gave me 90 inches. And I measured I counted how many spaces are between and then you divide that by 90 because there's five spaces six six uh, separators five spaces so you divide that by 90 gives you 18 inches so from here to center is 18 inches so you just keep going 18 18 18 and then you do your two inches inch on either side and then everything will be exactly spaced out. It all works out perfectly. Uh, this is going to be a pretty heavy unit. <laughs> I'm going to need a helper to move it into place when I'm ready. Alright. So, this is as far as I'm going to weld it, I think. It's not a super heavy project, and I've got this is way overkill. So, there's my weld. This thing doesn't want to focus anymore for some reason. There's the weld on each side. Top and bottom. And I flip it. They're not overhead welds. No point if you can flip it and make it easy for yourself. That's what you do. You get a much better weld when you're relaxed. Now I'm using flux core wire, which is good enough for my little projects that I do. It's plenty strong. I think it's rated for 30,000 pounds per square inch of weld. So, like, this is way overkill. Like, I'm losing batteries pretty quick. So, after I got, I got good batteries and bad batteries in my batch that I'm using, but I'm pretty much using them all because I don't care and they're showing uh, great signs of load tests and everything that I've done on them so and like when I got the batteries got them for free half of them were sitting at about 11 5 or in the low 11s and the other halves were still in the high 12s so what I did was separated them marked them all and then I started charging the the dead ones and they all accepted charges very well and uh yeah so i let them sit for a month and they still held charge very well so held their voltage everything so that's what i i just used them and like i'm losing them slowly this guy here she froze still i haven't ch charged that one since christmas look at that 11 o'clock and we already hit our float no sun outside, but that's what it 
it is. I'm not running anything either. So. Super hard to do with one hand here. This hasn't been charged since Christmas. This is another dead pile. So, 12.8, it's January 21st. I think they're pretty good. This one was leaking, so I don't want to bring it inside. And I got another one that's actually got a dead cell. So, yeah, well, put the legs on this thing, get her standing up, see how wobbly it is. Keep you posted. So, finally got this thing done. Another crappy day again, but oh well. So, instead of adding a whole bunch of extra bracing and stuff on there, I added that tab. That tab will be a cement anchor into the wall. So that will hold it from going back and forth, even though nothing's going to be in the way. It's going to be in an enclosed box, so there'll be tons of weight pushing on it sideways, and everything will be proper, so there you go. It's not as heavy as I thought. I can lift it one end and drag it around, which I've been doing, so, but yeah. It's all welded, posts up. I'm not really gonna go too heavy on cleaning it. Wasn't even gonna paint it, but we'll see. Might paint the legs. Huh? I'll show you a last one when she's installed. Thanks. How's it going, Frank here? Got my uh, second level built. I've wired all these now in parallel so it's 12 volts 12 volts around 800 amp hour can balance them two up top two on the bottom connections will go in here from the top that's my positive jumper i'll have another jumper that goes up to the top row and then my negative will come Oh, with the shunt there, I'm gonna change that. Added my first inverter in there. That's a 7,000 watt modified sign, 48 volt. I'm gonna run them both together on two separate panels. This guy will run my heat and an element in my water tank, which I'm gonna switch over. There's the tank here, I'm gonna run this lower element wiring diagram it can run 120 and 277 so I'll just separate the two number fours black and or yeah black and red which will give me a thermostat and the element and also have two plugs so I'll hook that element to a 120 plug I can either plug it into the wall or grid or the solar course just because you can never guarantee the sun and yeah this is how she's coming along it is super solid she's not going nowhere and there's still an anchor point there yes she's off right now it's been off for a day and a half now so I'll keep you updated So, there it is, done for the night, she's actually back up and running, it's all hooked up, every single bolt is torqued, torqued about nine and a half foot pounds, uh, it's balancing, let's see, we got the balance. Stuck up under here. These ones are balancing too. Got the balancer at the back. <coughs> Everything up there. This big clump of 
wires here is gonna get stuck on the wall somehow. That switch down there is gonna get stuck on the wall. Gotta build a case around this whole unit. Some ventilation. It's pretty good. These guys here haven't been charged since Christmas, this top row. And they're sitting at 12.77-ish. This is what we got on the charge controller. Pretty much 52. Yeah. So, it's a... Uh, 800 amp hour battery bank, 80 amp charger, 11,000 watts of 120 power, and uh, I can pull in about 76 amps in the best conditions when I'm floating. Pretty good. I'll show you what I'm running one day. Right now it's just some heat, but in the summer it's going to change. Now that I got this, this is actually a 20,000 watts of storage, usable storage. I think it's about 40 kilowatt hour bank here. Oh yeah, that's where we're at. Thanks for watching.